everyone. Hope everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful day. So I do have some videos coming out soon on my channel. All right, so I'm gonna be comparing the lemony. Well, yes, it is. I would say it kind of counts as a horror comedy. Well, a kids horror comedy. In the movie, there is death, scary moments, and funny moments. Yeah, I'm comparing the movie versus the game. Mostly, part like I'm gonna be talking about like the differences in the game and movie. Um, so in the movie, uh, so the story is our main characters. Uh, we got Sunny the Biter, Klaus the Scholar, and Violet the Inventor. The three of them do work as a team to. And they keep being bounced around from family to family to family to family. Same thing in the game. Though they do add some more stuff as it says right here. Adventure through 16 action pack missions based on the movie and the book series. So they do add some stuff from the books in the game. Which I always love when a video game adaptation does that. So glad this came out in 2004. I miss when movies got video game adaptations. And I also miss when they actually cared. And <clears throat> This is back when games were just games. It was a fun game to play. I miss my Xbox. I really do. Right, so some of the big differences is uh, the weapons and gadgets you... Well, Violet creates for the family. Um, so each level you have to find pieces for the gadgets and then put it together. We got the fruit flinger, the levitating loafers, the baby booster, and the brilliant bopper. As you see, yeah, it's basically like um, a boxing glove um, with a spring. So it's basically like shooting the boxing glove at it. Well, actually, I think he uses it to launch himself out of his opponents. Um, that's a mission where you have to collect the snakes that got out of the cages. This one, you have to find the letter or the clues well, before the house falls into the ocean. Um, after this one is the cave level. And then uh, my favorite level of the game, the leech level. Hate that level so much. So the point of this one is you have to fight off the leeches by using the um the the fruit flinger. Start shooting like peppermints at the um at the um well leeches as they try to board the um rowboat. I think you have to survive like four rounds rows. Yeah, four rounds of them. Round after round after round, and they get faster, increase in number, and you gotta pay attention to the leeches before they um overrun the boat. In the movie, uh, help comes like immediately, and then Olaf left her to die on the boat and get killed, just because she corrected him. <laughs> I will say, um, Jim Carrey as the, um, as Count Olaf, he plays role very, very well. He does well being, like, scary and, scary and funny at the same time. <coughs> I believe they got, like, Jim Carrey for the game. I'm not sure. Or they got someone sounding like him. Uh, the covers are good. Unfortunately, the game... Yeah, my game was pre-owned, so it did not come with a free child's movie ticket inside. Though I do like how the game case is an eyeball. Nice. Oh, this is a DreamWorks movie. DreamWorks, Paramount, Picture, and Nickelodeon. God, I miss... When, um, 
I miss when games are just games and not trying to be like political or anything like that. It was just fun just to play. Um, well, you also have to create the, um, the train level was kind of easy. Make the thing launch at the handle and move it. Though the last level you play as Klaus, you have to, oh shoot, what does he call the weapon? He changes like his weapon. He changes the brilliant Bapa to another weapon. It's like a grappling hook one. So he can get to the higher ground and use the eye to, you yeah, use it to burn the bur the widened certificate at the last level. So the final boss is basically Olaf doing his play, and there's other people in the way. You have to time it right and burn every inch of the um widened certificate. It's a fun final boss. He keeps moving. You have to find like which ones are real him. And, yeah. I will say the bosses in the game is fun. Uh, I believe, like, this guy's a boss, too. You have to fight... I believe, like, that's the last level, too. You have to defeat him. <coughs> create your new weapon, and then use it to, like, grapple hook up. up. Uh, you do get to play as Sunny in the snake... Yeah, trying basically going away to slide into the snake to cuddle it. Um, let's see. Been a very long time since I played this game. Don't have an Xbox anymore, so I can't play it anymore. So there's a lot of difference that they did in the game compared to the movie. Honestly, I think I compare. I think I like the game better than the movie because it adds more stuff. I mean, both are amazingly well done. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, both both of them are really well done, and I wonder if I can play it again if I get like a new Xbox. Maybe an Xbox One can. Well, mm, I was told that GameStop that certain Xbox yeah, Xbox Ones can only play a few. <coughs> <coughs> Xbox, the yeah, Xbox compatible, so I'm hoping this game works on the Xbox One. Well, I'm hoping. I would love to play it again. Alright, so I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful day.